just saying to, to see Michael, because I saw a screening of that movie and it really is sensational. I'm glad you liked it. I have to say that uh, isn't the real star of the, of the film The Car? Well, yeah, but you don't have to tell me that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, the, the car is incredible. Well, this is a DeLorean car which goes back and forward into the future. Right. And right. takes you back, back into the past, and then you're going to try and get back to the future, which is... You can never explain this movie. That's, That's a good thing I thought about I just it. You can't, you can't it explain it, seconds. so people really have to go and see it. But yeah, um, yeah it's, a, it's a DeLorean that this friend of mine who's a mad scientist converts into a time machine. And, uh, and I get kind of trapped in it. It takes me back to the 50s, and I, um, I run into my parents and uh, screw things up royally. And I uh, have to kind of get it. I have to introduce my parents. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I won't exist. And, and my mother uh, is kind of smitten with me. Which is a sticky situation. That's right. That you, but if the film manages to get over that. Yeah, it really e edible, handles it really well. Edible situation. Right, right. Um, it's the kind of all-American teen hero that you play, though, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. Which is good for a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't feel a bit uneasy being a Canadian playing. The... No, it's kind of funny actually, because people say that. Yeah, kind of uh, the all-American kid from Vancouver. Which yeah. Is really Would great. you like? I mean, the, the the thing about the film was you went back in time and subtly changed your own life by being back in the past. Right. Would you, I mean, did it make you think at all? It certainly made me think, watching the movie, how much you'd like to go back in time and see things. Uh, I can, you know, I thought about that because uh, it was something that I thought about when I was doing it. What would I change or what would I alter? I, I don't think I'd, I don't think it changed it. I mean, it worked out all right. I mean, yeah. here I am. For you, know, you, yeah. In England. <coughs> how old were you? for my tickets. You're supposed to be about 17 or 18 in the movie, right? Right. How old are you in, in real life? Uh, 20. Are you? Yeah. No, I'm 24. You don't look it. No, I know. I know. I, I think I made a deal somewhere along the line that I don't want to know. You haven't about. got a painting in an attic anywhere, right? Yeah, I, there may be. There yeah. may be. But uh, yeah, I've just been real lucky. Just How did you know. manage to stay so fresh doing that movie? Because I know you were also shooting that very successful Family Ties series that you do in the States. It was, uh, it was a strange situation because I, I worked uh, on Family Ties from 10 in the morning until about 6 at night. And then I'd get in a car and go over to Universal and work until about 2, 2.30 in the morning. But um, the, the people, the energy in, involved with the other people in the film was just so great that you were just so inspired when you got there. I mean, Bob Zemeckis, who directed it, is, is, is a total lunatic, but uh, happily can be productive in society uh, by making films. And, uh, and he, he really had a lot of energy. And, 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 uh, and I guess there's the, the other Stevie Wonder, not the one who was here tonight, but... Uh, Steven uh, Spielberg um, certainly had, had things going and under control. So it was something that I really believed in. And well, I he's think making so much, many movies at the moment, Steven Spielberg, but eventually this program will be made up of stars from Steven Spielberg movies coming in every Monday, <laughs> Wednesday, and Friday. Because we had somebody last Friday, a small little fella called Jeff Cohen. Anybody see Oh, him? he's great. Oh, Jeff Cohen's great. Yes. He, did, he did a Family Ties once. Yeah. He's funny. He's about this... Big. Yeah. Little Very hard to get him to speak, though. Did he wear his hat? <laughs> yeah, he wore the hat, the seagull hat. Oh, it was hat. difficult to get him yeah. to speak. Yeah, yeah I, couldn't I, get a word I, out of I him. believe that, yeah. 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 Now, you were I'm surprised he didn't sell your property. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing. Did he wear his hats? Did yeah, he, yeah, he did, did the whole bit. Yeah, he's got a million hats with different birds right. and stuff on him. Yeah, yeah, you, you're in, in America now with the success of Back to the Future. You, I suppose, could be regarded as a superstar. And yet here, the movie hasn't opened yet. So, uh, so... Nobody knows who you are. Yeah. Where would, where would you rather be? Well, uh, where would I rather be? Here in the States. Well, th this, this is fun. This is fun. Especially, um, um, I went out for uh, a drink with some friends on Saturday night uh, when I first got in. And I was quite glad by the end of it that no one did know who I was. <laughs> um, but uh, it's kind of nice uh, to, 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 to have a bit of both. I before, think. It, before it hits and it right. hits. As it will very well, big. especially because London is such a great walking town, you know, and it's a great place to get out and walk around and, and see everything. So I, it's nice to have seen it like this before. Either they see the movie and, and like me and stop me and talk to me, or see the movie and want to stone me. As a <laughs> so one way or the other, I've seen London. So I don't think they're going to want to stone you. Oh, I think no. you're going to be very, very big indeed. It's a wonderful well, movie. I, ho I, I hope that uh, that everyone here likes the movie. It's a lot I'm of fun. Glad you could drop in and see us. Thank you, Michael J. Cox. Thank you.